So lovely people, here we are on the top of a hill in Naples. Now we're going to make the most famous pizza in the world. The Pizza Margarita, named after the Queen. Yeah, of Italy. Yes. This Moorish margarita boasts sweet tomatoes, creamy mozzarella and fragrant basil. Believe me, this could be the best pizza you ever make. Every amazing pizza starts life with an incredible dough. So one litre of water goes in. Not freezing, not warm, from the tap cold. To make eight to 10 pizzas for a family cook up, dissolve 10 grams of salt in the water. Then add 1.8 kilos of fine Italian zero zero flour and some fresh yeast. I'm gonna put into here five grams of yeast. Give it a really good mix and get kneading until the dough becomes elastic and springy. This should take about 10 minutes. Here, let me take over. Yeah, you take over. I've got to hold it. Thank God for that. Yeah, it's stronger than You've me. You've got to help the old man, do you know what I mean? I'm just pulling it back and just tucking it in, and, and I'm kind of pushing it in with my heel and bringing it back like that. But there's no right or wrong. You can keep moving it. As long as you're stretching the dough, that's the only thing that matters. Look at that. So, a lovely dough. Let your dough relax for about an hour, then simply divide it into 10 equal pieces around about the size of a cricket ball. You can see how alive this dough is, because as soon as I put it down, see how it moves, right? And that's just the elasticity of the gluten, because we've worked it. The dough needs about six hours to prove in a fridge or a cool place. Even better, make it the day before and leave it overnight. Next, onto the base. Just use your fingers to shape it. Now, when it comes to the ingredients, tin tomatoes are really, really important. So just really nice, organic, Plum tomatoes, scrunched up with your bare hands. They're not cooked, no garlic, no herbs. So simple, so, so simple. We're gonna go four tablespoons, specifically, of the fantastic tomatoes. Wow. A little bit of salt goes on top of the tomato. And then Gennaro's gonna add 80 grams of cow's mozzarella. So the buffalo mozzarella is beautiful, but it's too wet for the classic margarita. Yes, it is. And then on top of that, we'll put five or six uh, beautiful leaves of torn basil and a little Parmigiano Reggiano, and then a nice little drizzle of extra virgin olive oil. Over it goes, look at that. Slide it onto a floured board, jiggle it about to stop it sticking, and get it into the oven. If you're cooking in a normal oven at home, add it to a floured baking tray or pizza stone at the bottom of the oven. This is about 400 degrees Celsius, right? So at home, you'll probably only get to 260 degrees. So it will take about seven minutes at home, about three and a half minutes here. Ah, look at that. There you go, my friend. Pizza margarita. Delicious flavour. That cheese is delicious. The tomatoes are so sweet. The basil have got such perfume and you've got that lovely sort of crisp but spongy dough. In a way, it's a lesson on simplicity, isn't it? You've got it to is. get that absolutely right. I just love it. Pizza margarita above Naples. If somebody else make it better. I don't want to know. know. <laughs>